Since the release of Transformers 1, one of the most common criticisms I've seen about the film is the pacing surrounding D16's transformation into Megatron. Many feel it was rushed and needed more time to be fleshed out within the story. In an effort to determine whether or not I agree with this assessment, I decided to watch Transformers 1 for a third time. This time, I focused primarily on D16 throughout the entirety of the film. What I noticed is that D16's path to becoming Megatron begins very early in the movie. And it's quite possible that what we're shown in the film is just the tip of the iceberg. I believe D16 has been frustrated with Orion for a long time, likely even before the events we see in the movie. Within the first 10 minutes of the movie, we are presented with a theme. When Orion Pax gets himself into trouble, it's D16 who bails him out. We see that right away after the initial chase scene. Orion breaks into the archives to get information about the lost matrix of leadership and is chased all across Icon by Darkwing before D-16 intervenes and provides Orion with an opportunity to escape by hiding in a shipment of spare parts. Clearly, Orion has a reputation for getting himself into trouble, which I thought was established during the chase scene when Orion is on top of the moving train and you hear a couple of bots say out loud, This made me wonder, just how long has D-16 felt responsible for bailing Orion out of trouble, even before the events we see in the film? My guess is that it's been longer than we think. These two have been best friends ever since they met in the minds of Cybertron, which leads me to believe that this has been a regular occurrence for quite some time. D-16 isn't even surprised that Orion was back in the archives during their conversation on the train. He even voices his annoyance at Orion's constant behavior and his refusal to follow protocol. It's very clear that this is a pattern of behavior for Orion, and D-16 has had to clean up his messes time and time again. And within the first act of the film, D-16 goes on at least two specific rants about how Orion Pax has ruined his life through his rebellious actions. You know what? I can't believe you made me do that. We are so screwed. I thought you weren't talking to me. Hey, look, I know it's all a big joke to you, but not me. I was paying my dues. I was going places, and now they're going to bust me down. I, I don't even know how many tears. I'm sorry, dude. When we first meet D-16, we are shown a loyal friend who expresses his loyalty through his actions. This loyalty is rooted in his belief in the dynasty of the Primes. He practically worships Megatronus and holds Sentinel Prime in high regard, believing Sentinel to be a hero who will one day find the Matrix of Leadership and restore Cybertron to its former glory. D-16 truly believes that if he sticks to protocol, he will advance his station in life. But D-16 also shows a side of himself that hints at his future persona as Megatron. For instance, when Darkwing scolds Orion and then attempts to punch him, D-16 intervenes without hesitation, blocking Darkwing's punch and delivering it to Orion himself. He firmly believes that Orion should be punished, but just not to the degree that Darkwing would have inflicted. This shows us that D-16 has the ability to perceive the difference between right and wrong and will take the appropriate action, even if it means harming someone he cares about in the name of protocol. About an hour into the film, our main characters meet Alpha Trion, who not only gives them transformation cogs, but also reveals the truth about Sentinel Prime, his betrayal of the 13 Primes, and his alliance with the Quintessons. Our main characters even witness Sentinel's betrayal firsthand when they see him bow to these sworn enemies. And it's this revelation that shatters D-16's worldview, and he takes it the hardest out of everyone. He believed strongly in the system and the leaders of Cybertron, but once the truth is revealed, his belief in protocol is replaced with anger and a desire to impose his own sense of justice. So it's not that hard to imagine that D-16 is quickly trying to piece together a new worldview that makes sense to him. Instead of being like Orion Pax and using hope as a guiding light, he begins to see strength, anger, and cruelty as the only ways to deal with a world that feels like it's been turned upside down. And in his frustration, when he yells that he wants to kill Sentinel, longtime fans already know that his path to becoming Megatron is inevitable. Don't you want to stop him? No, I want to kill him! I want to put Sentinel in chains and march him through the mines so everyone can see him for the false crime that he is! As the film progresses, D-16's emotions swing between quiet brooding and explosive outbursts, which shock Orion on multiple occasions. The once considerate D-16 is now almost unrecognizable, filled with menace and hungry for power. This transformation is underscored during his pivotal meeting with Starscream in the High Guard. Starscream tells D-16 that the concept of a unified Cybertron is a myth, and that the only real power is one bot over another. This idea resonates with D-16 who then fights Starscream with full force. When his fusion cannon appears for the first time and his eyes turn from yellow to a dark orange, it symbolizes the emergence of Megatron within him. 
For the first time, he feels powerful, and most importantly, validated. As the High Guard cheers for him, they're encouraging him to embrace this dark side, proclaiming that they will follow him down this path he has chosen. This cements D16's new mindset. The system lied to him, and who better than him to tear it down and rebuild it into something better? And now, he has an army that's willing to help him do it. In the film's final act, D16 is locked in battle with Sentinel Prime. Although Orion would rather sway public opinion with the truth, D16 is set on destroying Sentinel. Orion tries his best to stop his friend, but ultimately fails, taking a shot from D16's fusion cannon in a noble act of self-sacrifice. Not so much to save Sentinel, but to save D16 from going too far. When Orion falls over the edge, D16 catches him. After all, this is what he does. Orion gets into trouble, and D16 bails him out. But as D16 reflects, his rage reaches a boiling point. He sees Orion's actions as a defense of the broken system he despises. And in that moment, his eyes turn red, and the last remnants of D16 fade away, replaced entirely by Megatron, who is done saving Orion. For a few moments, D-16 believes Orion is dead, and he begins raining destruction on the citizens of Icon City, even turning against his friends Alita-1 and B-127. As D-16's transformation into the vengeful Megatron nears completion, there's one last piece of the puzzle, Optimus Prime. So when Orion Pax emerges with the matrix of leadership displayed inside his chest, D-16 sees his former friend, someone he has protected throughout their friendship, become the one thing he now wishes to destroy. His battle with Optimus is fierce, but perhaps the most powerful moment is after their confrontation when Megatron doesn't call Optimus Orion Pax, but instead spits out the word Prime as if it's a curse word. It's a clear statement that Optimus Prime is no friend of his, and that by becoming a Prime, he has personally betrayed him. From here on out, their friendship is over, and Megatron is now fully formed. This isn't over, Prime. So while some viewers might feel that D16's transformation into Megatron is rushed, I think after that third watch through, I feel differently. I started to see the subtleties in D16's personality near the beginning of the movie, and it did make me wonder just how frustrated D16 was with Orion Pax before the events of the movie. Overall, I think the film does a great job laying the groundwork for his transformation, giving us valuable insight into his motivations and the darkness that eventually consumes him. Either way, I thought Transformers 1 did a great job not only giving us the origin of Orion Pax, but also showing us the rise of Megatron. But what did you guys think? And how do you think the relationship between Orion Pax and D16 will help shape the relationship between Megatron and Optimus Prime in sequels to come? Let me know in the comments, don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.